Hello, I'm Charlotte Abrams. Uh, I'm 33 years old. I live in Louisville, Kentucky um, with my husband and two daughters. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, I've been a nurse for eight years. I've worked in open heart recovery and child psychiatry. Um, and starting in early November 2012, as I prepared for work, I started having some unusual back pain. Um, the pain radiated down through my forearms and hands um, with some tingling and I had some chest pain and pressure uh, and some shortness of breath. Originally it was thought to be a pinched nerve or a carpal tunnel, um, but quickly I became intolerant of just simple activities and so I decided to go to the emergency room. Um, I was shocked to find out that it was a heart attack. At 33, I'm, uh, I was a heart attack, you know? I had a stent placed in my coronary ramus artery that was 100% blocked and I was discharged with a routine treatment plan. Over the next three weeks, however, I continued to feel pain. Um, I had to return to the emergency room three times. Um, all of my cardiac studies were negative, uh, and I was told that it was likely anxiety or gastric distress. I continue to insist that it feels like I'm still having a heart attack. Um, so during the second cardiac cath, they discovered a 90% blockage um, that was just in front of the original uh, stent. I felt some relief with the second stent, but was left with a lot of questions. Um, I learned that the, my initial heart attack and my second blockage may have been caused by a tear in my coronary artery, um, otherwise known as SCAD. Um, local cardiologists haven't seen many SCAD cases. As most of us would, I went to Google and Googled spontaneous dissection um, and was quickly introduced to Women Heart, um, Inspire.com, and the Facebook SCAD Survivor Group. Um, I was very thankful to find um, the comforting support from other SCAD survivors on the websites um, and also be introduced to Mayo Clinic's um, research, SCAD research study. My pain never completely went away after the heart attack, um, so by January, I couldn't take the pain anymore. Um, I worried that the ongoing pain was causing damage, further damage to my heart, um, so I decided to visit Dr. Sharon Hayes at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. The Mayo Clinic was great. Uh, it was wonderful. Um, Dr. Hayes confirmed that my heart attack was caused by SCAD. She gave me more specific treatment recommendations, uh, but also warned that there is still a lot that we don't know about SCAD um, because it's still in the early stages of discovery. Um, I was very excited to be accepted into the SCAD research study at Mayo Clinic, um, and I'm, I'm excited to learn what the answers will be. I want to be here for a long time for my family for my patients and to help those who are working through this unexpected diagnosis as well. Um, I'm so doing everything that I can um, to take care of myself. I'm taking my medications, I'm reducing stress, I'm going to cardiac rehab, I'm trying to lose weight, uh, and I'm counting my blessings. Now I'm ready to join the fight, the fight for answers, the fight for improved diagnosis and awareness. Um, for better prevention and treatment. Um, so, nice try heart attack, but I'm still here.